Hey guys, welcome back to another ARC video. Today we're going to be building a compact hidden cabin in the high cliffs of the western coast on the island. This cabin is very similar to something I built a long time ago on an official PvP server as a sort of temporary base after my main base was raided and it served well as a low key homestead. Firstly we'll be placing our base plate. Because we're on the incline of a cliff we'll be mounting the house on two pillars. This is slightly complicated seeing as you'll need to place pillars down, then a ceiling, then extend the ceilings out, place another set of pillars down to the ground, remove the ceiling, remove all but one pillar, re-add another pillar and mount the ceiling back on top of it to avoid the pillars poking through. Basically you'll have to place the pillars before the ceilings but also make sure that they clip into the middle of them. The final size of this base plate is 3x3 with a 3x1 strip dedicated to the outside porch area at the back. Also don't forget to place down a ramp to access the build easily. Next is the walls, doorways and window frames. We'll be using two windows, two doors and wooden walls in this build. We'll have a door at the front and back of the build and windows on the left side and back side of the structure. When the rules are up it is then time for hanging storage. This needs to be done before the roof otherwise the game won't allow you to place a sloped roofing down. Place a catwalk down atop the wall you've just placed, place some small storage boxes on top of the catwalk and then you'll be able to place the roof later. This works well in saving actual ground space and also having a decent amount of storage. Now all of that is done, the roof. We'll place some sloped sides down and then mount the thatch roof atop them. Thatch is not a strong material at all, I wouldn't recommend it if you're building this on PvP, but it serves a nice aesthetic purpose when placed in conjunction with wood. Finally of course, time to furnish. I kept things inside as compact as possible, still managing to include a smithy, refining forge, bed, storage space, a small area to cook food and use the mortar and pestle, and a nice little porch balcony overlooking the western coast. Not only is this house cosy and compact, but it's extremely hard to spot from the shoreline and well covered by trees up in the forest itself, meaning that if you ever did have to throw this house up quickly in an official PvP like I once did, you'll be safe for at least a short while. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed this video do go ahead and drop a like below, and also tell me what build you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to check out the channel whilst you're there, there are many build guides for ARK already posted with more coming, along with content for games such as Rainbow Six Siege, Friday the 13th and more, so subscribe to be the first to see the next video. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.